How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and today's video I'll be going over the best mod I'm pretty sure I've ever done to this truck and I wish I would have done it sooner. It would have solved a lot a lot of problems but this is the best mod I've ever done to my truck. And as a tile you can see it is a rear disc swap in the back and a, and a uh, upgrade in the front to they're all slotted disc rotors and everything like that. So in the front I do have R1 Custom uh, slotted disc rotors and heavy duty off-road pads. These pads are designed for trucks that go off-road, tow a lot, or have bigger wheels and tires in stock, which mine does. As you can see, it is, like I said, a slotted disc rotor. Absolutely, I love it. It is absolutely great kit. It doesn't break fade, as you'll see later on in this video. It just looks absolutely good great behind this um kmc wheel massive upgrade in the front and then in the rear i have ls mfg um they're out of actually they're actually out of, out of near nashville tennessee and they have a rear disc swap for this truck as you can see i've got rear slide disc rotors in the rear and if no one believes me there's my track bars right there and it comes with, the kit comes with everything. There is a optional upgrade that I will show you here in a second that I highly, highly recommend if you do. But it looks absolutely phenomenal. It takes place, the rear drum, and it's pretty much a bolt-on kit. I didn't put it on though, but I did look at the, uh, the instructions for it. And it does call for you to grind off a small tab where you, when you take your rotor off. But other than that, this kit makes a world of freaking difference. It is unreal, the stopping power of this truck now. Now, granted, this truck is a 60-40 split stopping power. So, if I remember that correctly. So, it's 60% in the front, then a 40% in the rear. A lot of trucks are like that. It's, that's, a, that's a very common thing for trucks. But, massive, massive upgrade from this. I have been driving on this setup for probably about a month and a half now. I wanted to make sure I liked it and let you all uh, know. Now, it isn't cheap. The whole kit plus the optional upgrade of the slotted disc rotors in the rear with the upgraded brake booster that I'll show you here in a second. I'll explain why you need that. With the parking brake option, um, stainless steel brake lines that connect to your old brake lines and stuff like that. It's about $900. So, and then the front kit's about $180, $200. So if you install it yourself, you're looking at about $1,100 for a brake upgrade for the for these style of trucks. But it's worth every single penny. We'll pop the hood right now and I'll show you, well if I lock my truck, I'll show you the brake booster that it comes with. This is the optional brake booster upgrade right here. Ow, this paint's really hot. Um, as you can see, it attaches to the uh, master cylinder right there, but this brake booster is a massive bigger upgrade than the old stock ones that come in these trucks. The reason why you want to upgrade when you do a, a slotted or a just a, even a regular disc rear in the back is because these trucks already have squishy enough brakes, like a squishy pedal. And with the extra fluid that's required for um, the rear disc conversion, plus the more pressure you need, if you kept your stock brake booster, it won't function right. You won't like it. You won't like the pedal feel. The pedal feel now on this truck when I hit the brake is a lot more stiffer than stock. So, and like I tell people, like, yeah, the truck does stop a whole lot better, but it's more a consistent stop. You don't feel like you have to keep smashing on the brakes for it to stop or brake fade or anything like that. Like, like I said, I'll show you in the next part of this video. Um, but make sure guys, like a hundred something dollar upgrade when it comes to the brake booster, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it. You won't regret it. So to install the rear brake kit, if you do it yourself, it's about four to five hours. You have a shop do it, depending on if they've done one before or not, about three to four hours. Of course, the front is just a normal take your disc off, take your pads off, put the new disc on, put the new pads on, and then you break them in. Following the braking instructions that they supply in both of these kits. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but R1 Customs and um, LSMFG Shop, I highly recommend them. So we will switch over to the next clip of me torture testing this setup. All right, guys, we are now in Gatlinburg. That's right. Um, we are doing the final part of the torture test on this truck, which is going down from Mount Lacan all the way back down here to Gatlinburg. So as you can see, we're driving through right now. Um, it's crowded. Colin's with me. Hello. You know, 
member from the vlog. And no, he does not have an Instagram yet, so he is still a hashtag Instagramless Colin. But anyways, we're gonna go to the very top of the mountain, see the pretty view, get some pictures and some video, of course, and then drive back down and see how these new brakes work. Like I said, I got the R1 Custom rotors and pads up front, the heavy duty pads, the LS MFG rear disc brake conversion with the bigger brake booster in it. So that's got slotted disc rotors in it too with heavy duty pads. So um, we'll see how it goes. The last time I went to Mount LeCant and drove back down this truck was literally when I first bought this truck five, six years ago. I think it's been like six years actually. Yeah, it has been six years. It's been six years. And, the, and that was the only time I've ever done it. And it smoked the brakes. Now granted, there was a Karen basically in front of me riding her brakes down the whole way like stopping at every stupid tree and looking at it. it was unreal that probably contributed to it but as everyone knows that has one of these trucks knows the brakes are horrible on these trucks so stock so we'll see how much better it does i'm very excited to see this um just driving around normally you can tell a major difference in the braking of this truck but um we'll see so we'll see how the it does but uh it's supposed to be it looks like it's supposed to be a really nice day out here in gallenberg it's gonna be really really nice So we have made it up here. Truck's right there. So we're here. It's kind of hazy out though, so it's not that great of a view. But you can see forever over here. We're at what, 6,500 feet? Something like that. Yeah, something crazy like that. 6,500 feet is the highest point in Tennessee. I know that. 6,036 is what 6, I got. 6,036. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, because you have to hike up the rest 500 up to the top yep. of the dome. But yeah, so we're going to be up here. So we're going to have to tr tr travel back down here a little bit, see how the brakes do. That's going to be the test is going back down the mountain. So, but yeah, we're going to kind of walk around, explore, and see what's up here. Hopefully not get eaten by a bear. I don't know yet. Yeah, there's no view today. <laughs> Just complete cloud cover, which is typical Smokies. But I'm um, gonna head back down. We're just going to the top right here real quick. We're gonna head back down and get back in the truck. Let's see how these brakes do, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so we got a little bit of a view right here. We just came off the mountain. We're about a one fourth of a way down the mountain right now. And the brakes are actually doing really good. Yes, you can smell them, but that's typical for brakes. I mean, but the heat, the heat alone difference between the old ones and the new ones. Like, you know, you got the front, um, slotted disc and then the rear slotted disc right here the heat alone difference is unreal like we noticed that a lot yes you can smell them but like i said that's just brakes like brakes do that so i'm not too concerned about that but um yeah it's it's uh it's doing very very well very 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 well so uh we're gonna keep heading down the mountain here soon all right guys we just came off the mountain the brakes did absolutely fantastic there's a little bit of heat i can feel a little bit more than when we stopped last check the rear yeah a little bit of heat but nowhere near i never felt any difference in braking whatsoever coming down the mountain. we were coming down hot we were about 50 miles an hour letting it coast and then like hitting the brakes around corners and stuff and it's i am thoroughly thoroughly impressed like like Colin's ridden this truck for six years. And I, the the brakes have never worked that good ever. Nope. Yeah, no, there's still plenty of brake at the end. Oh yeah, that. If you can afford it, upgrade it on this truck. You will not regret it. That is insane. How much more braking I've got with this truck because of that. I mean, absolutely crazy. All right, guys. As you saw from that clip, uh, those clips, we went to the top of Cleveland's Dome there in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park in. Um, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We went to the top there. At the top of the mountain, it's about 6,000, 6,001 feet, somewhere in between there. Down to Gatlinburg level, I think it's about 2,000 feet. So we climbed about 4,000 feet of elevation. On the way back down, I was the lead car in the group, so thank God, so I could just run the truck. I ran into corners a little hot than I should, trying to test out these brakes, and I can say, without a, without a doubt, there was no brake fade and i'm talking none like i said in the video the last time i did that i nearly lost all my brakes with the heat soaking and brake fade so i am a 100 percent thrilled of the upgrade it was worth the money upgrading to this truck i feel confident if i ever have to tow anything now i feel confident in towing stuff now um like i said climbing steep grades going down street grades i feel very very more confident with this truck than i did before these rear drums on these trucks absolutely suck i've talked to so many people with the same truck and they all agree it sucks now like i said 
it's not a pretty, it's not like a cheap upgrade by any stretch of the imagination. But guys, if you're looking to upgrade, if you tow a lot, if you want to run a bigger wheel and tire setup, of course, way bigger than mine. But even if my setup, I highly recommend you upgrading your brakes before you do anything like that. It just makes a world of difference. Um, like I say, huge shout out to these companies for these products. You all are fantastic. I wish I would have done this mod sooner than I should have. But hey, we all live and learn. So, um, other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all like the content. Uh, I know I've been teasing this thing for, like, like about almost two months, and a lot of you have been making guesses. Now, some of you have guessed it right, kind of, and some of you have not, but that's the nature of the draw. So, thank you all so much for the support. Leave a like, a comment. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, trying new and better things. I hope you all have a great day, and remember... Never give up on your dreams.